top five programming like It sounds just as good as it smells. When it comes to talking about the top five programming languages to learn in a given year, in this case 2020, I could pick just about any programming language and give you countless reasons as to why this is the one you should learn in 2020. I mean, is this your first time coding or have you been coding for years? You're just looking for a lateral move. Is your ultimate goal to get a job? Is that job in a particular industry at a particular company? What technologies and languages do they use? Maybe you just want to code as a hobby. See, I don't know what your ultimate goal is or your situation. So in this video, we're going to go through creating a top five programming languages list. We're going to have two different categories to contain those top five programming languages. We're going to have two programming languages in that top five be lateral moves, meaning you are making a move from one programming language to another. And then three of those top five programming languages are going to be for new coders. But in order to determine that list, we have to go through the three most important categories to, to kind of determined by me. And that is what programming languages make the most money, what programming languages are the most popular, most in demand also falls into most popular, and then what programming languages build what. I think we should start with that one because for me, that's the most important. What programming languages build what? Now, I, I know what this category sounds like. I'm gonna go over every single programming language and discuss, well, this one builds websites, this one builds games, this one builds artificial intelligence stuff, right? No, I don't have enough time in the world to go over all that. Once we narrow it down over the next two categories, then we'll discuss this. But I wanted to touch on this first because in my opinion, this is the most important. It's more than likely we all started off as some sort of hobbies. We want to learn how computers work, how coding works, so we just kind of dive in. You have something in your mind. Maybe you want to build mobile applications, maybe you want to build websites. Maybe you have a keen interest in cybersecurity or artificial intelligence. There are specific programming languages for each one of these categories. And the reason why is because different programming languages are better at doing different types of programming. Whatever your interest and whatever your goal, coding as a hobby, coding as a job, that should determine the programming language you learn. You may want to fall into the trap of, I want this to be my job. I want to make a lot of money. Let me look what programming language makes the most money and learn that. I have the belief that if you have a particular interest, something that actually drives you to learn more about it, do a bunch of research about it and actually go on and build it on your own time, that's going to make you more money in the long run than trying to force yourself to learn something that you don't find as interesting, but you're trying to chase some money. One, you're going to half ass doing the other. You're going to spend a lot of time on and genuinely enjoy. That'll make you more money. Plus make your life a little bit more enjoyable. Time for some actual stats. What programming languages make the most money? And what better way to follow up last week's video on taking the 2020 Stack Overflow Developer Survey than referencing the 2019 Stack Overflow Developer Survey and looking at the top paying technologies in this particular instance, what languages are associated with the highest salaries worldwide? We're also gonna look at within the United States. So globally, we have our top 25 right here, starting at number one spot with closure at 90,000, going all the way down to the number 25 spot, Java at 52,000 US dollars per year. And our top five is, of course, closure at 90,000, F sharp at 80,000, Go at 80,000, Scala at 78,000, and Elixir at 76,000. And within the United States, top 25 starts at Scala, $143,000, all the way down to HTML and CSS at $105,000 or if we want to count actual programming languages, then we're going to go with C Sharp in the number 24 spot at $105,000. In the top five here, of course, we have Scala at $143,000. Number two spot goes to Clojure at $139,000. Go at $136,000. Erlang at $135,000. And Objective-C at $132,000 per year. Now, if we wanted to make a top five out of this between globally and the United States, we would want to look at some of the the commonalities we have here, the common programming languages. And I can see three that are here within the top five or six on both. Yeah, the top three here is Scala, Clojure, Go, which also are located within the top five, Clojure, Go, Scala, when we're talking globally. So those are a few that we want to remember. And I feel like I'd be misleading y'all if I didn't mention this. There are so many variables that come into play when it comes to 
all of these top paying programming languages as it sits. You have industry that comes into effect, you have years of experience, you have location, not just globally or within the United States, but your exact city in which you're located, the company you work for, et cetera, et cetera. What programming languages are the most popular? So we're not only going to be looking at the 2019 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, but also what is called the 2020 State of Software Engineers. And if I understand this correctly, this is based on their statistics on Hired.com, not from a survey like the Stack Overflow Dev Survey, and not taking it from this website, that website, that website to come with like a comprehensive list. It's something that I believe is specific to Hired.com themselves, but I feel it's a fair report to pull some data from. On the 2019 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, most popular technologies, programming, scripting, and markup languages. We have the top 25 here that ranges from JavaScript at 67.8% down to WebAssembly at 1.2%. And the way to read this graph is that out of the 87,354 people who responded to this question, these are the programming languages that they use. So if this was asked to me, I'd come in here and say, all right, I use HTML, CSS, I use SQL, I use Java, I use Bash, and continue checking each language that I use I don't just pick one, I pick all of them. And our top five here, JavaScript, of course, at 67.8%, HTML and CSS at 63.5%, SQL at 54.4%, Python at 41.7% and Java at 41.1%. Now to take a look over at our 2020 state of software engineers, most commonly used programming languages by software engineers, we have the same one leading the way, JavaScript at 63%, all the way down to R at 2%. And our top five following JavaScript is Python at 44%, Java at 38%, HTML at 28% and TypeScript at 22%. However, not only do I wanna reference the most commonly used programming languages or the most popular programming languages, I also wanna talk about the most in-demand coding languages across the globe. And this is on a scale of number of interview requests per candidate on Hired in 2019. Not sure how accurate this is to describe the whole entire market, but it's a good reference point. It goes from Go at 9.2 interview requests, all the way down to R at 3.3 interview requests. So with the top five, we'll see a little is a little bit different from the most commonly used programming languages at Go, Scala, Ruby, TypeScript, and Kotlin. All right, so I think we got a good understanding of what makes the most money, which are the most popular and most in demand. Let's see what we can do to create a top five list out of this. Like I said, we're gonna have two allocated to a lateral move and three allocated to your first programming language. And I've made this list based on those statistics, my own preconceived knowledge, and maybe a little bit of personal bias to create the top five list. So our final list, the top five programming languages to learn in 2020, we're gonna start off with lateral movers. Coming in the second spot for lateral moves, we wanna do a quick drum roll here. Scala. You can think of Scala as a language that addresses Java's inefficiencies. So Scala won't be the only language you learn. Typically you will know Java in order to improve your Java and make it make your application actually faster. That's when you would use Scala. If you want to get actually technical with the definition, Scala is a general purpose programming language providing support for functional programming and a strong static type system. Designed to be concise, many of Scala's design decisions aim to address criticisms of Java. Hence why this is on a lateral mover or maybe an additional mover instead of a first programming language. And the reason it takes a number two spot is because we see it both on the top five globally and within the United States of top paying technologies. It takes number four globally at $78,000 per year. And it takes the number one spot within the United States at $143,000 per year. Now, the reason why it may be at the top is because you're not gonna have one year, two year, three year experienced people coding in Scala. You're gonna have five, 10, 20 year veterans coding in Scala. And of course, if you're a veteran, you're gonna be getting paid more. And if we come over to how popular it is, it's not actually the most popular. You see it actually all the way down here at Scala 3.8%. That is 3.8% of 87,000 respondents to this question. We'll also see something similar over on the 2020 State of Software Engineers, most commonly used programming languages by software engineers it is all the way down here at 5%. However, and I say, you may not want to take this particular statistic to heart, but we're going to do it in this particular instance. 
it is very, very in demand. At 8.5, number of interview requests per candidate on hired in 2019. So given how in demand it is, and also the fact that it's within the top 15, top 20, most commonly used and most popular programming languages, alongside the fact that it is the top paying programming language within the United States and within the top five globally, that's why it takes a number two spot on the lateral moves. But what beats that out? What beats that out? The number one spot for lateral moves of the top programming languages to learn in 2020 is Go. And Go, that's a systems programming language. If we wanna actually get down to it, Go is a statically typed compiled programming language designed at Google and is syntactically similar to C, but with memory safety, garbage collection, structural typing, and CSP style concurrency. Go is designed specifically as a systems programming language for large distributed systems and highly scalable network servers. In that vein, it replaces C++ and Java in Google's software stack. Of course, they're gonna be using Go. Google created Go, but they created it for a reason. They created it because they found it better than C++ and Java for their particular situation. And the reason I put this on the lateral movers instead of the first programming language you ought to learn is because of that little sentence, Go is syntactically similar to C, and this is my top five programming list, and I don't like C syntax, especially for newbies. There are easier programming languages to learn that aren't too easy to the point where you're not gonna be able to learn other programming languages, but that aren't too hard to the point where you're just gonna give up. And a reason it beat out Scala is because it beat out Scala. You see it globally, it beat out Scala by one spot or $2,000. In the United States, it didn't quite beat out Scala. It was at a deficit of $7,000 per year, but that's still a good position for the top paying technologies. Overall, the most popular, it is a little bit more popular, actually over double. For Scala, it had 3.8%. Go had 8.2% of those 87,000 respondents actually using it. We can see a similar trend over on the most commonly used programming languages here, and that is Scala was down at 5% and Go was at 10%, that is double. And then it is just slightly more in demand than Scala taking the number one spot for this particular poll, taking the number one spot for this particular stat. Those are the top two for your lateral movers now. What about for those people learning their very first programming language? And this may be where I get a little bit of pushback because I'm gonna let a little bit of my personal bias take over, but it's still for good reason. Let's start off with the number three spot. Remember, this is top five programming languages. We've already gone over two on lateral moves. We're gonna go over three on first programming languages. The number three spot, that goes to C++. C++ is a general purpose programming language. If we wanna read a little bit of what it can build, Games, GUI-based applications, database software, operating systems, browsers, banking apps, compilers, embedded systems, gaming engines, and I don't have enough time to go over every little thing that C++ can have a role in building. But now you can see why I had two different categories. While you're not gonna be learning Scala off the get, it's good to learn a general purpose programming language like C++ or the others on this list as your very first one. Now I chose it for the number three spot for many of the same reasons why universities choose it to teach their own students. It's just a good language, good first language to learn. We can take a look here when the top paying technologies, it's on both of the top 25 lists. Right here, C++ comes in at $55,000. That's globally and within the United States, it comes in right here at $120,000. Overall in the Stack Overflow most popular technologies, it's right here at 23.5% of the 87,000 respondents using C++. 2020 State of Software Engineers, we see it right here at 13% most commonly used programming languages. And then when it comes to the in-demand aspect, it is still on the list at 5.4 number of interview requests per candidate on hired in 2019. Now, this doesn't top the list on any of these, but that is because these lists aren't for general purpose programming languages. These are just overall what people use in the industry. These people could have one year, five year, 10 year, 20 years of experience but as a first programming language, you're not gonna get much better than this, but you can get a little better than this. And that brings me to the number two spot. This is where I'm gonna get a little bit of pushback because many of y'all may think this should be in the number one spot, and that is Python in the number two spot for programming languages to learn in 2020 is your first programming language. Python can build most, if not all, of everything I mentioned that C++ can build, but with uh, slightly less code. If we want to actually get down to it, Python is an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language created by Guido Van Rossum 
and first released in 1991. Python's design philosophy emphasizes code readability with its notable use of significant white space. Let's see how Python fares up with the top paying technologies. Globally, you can see it right here at $63,000 per year. And within the United States, right here at $116,000 per year. For most popular technologies, it sits in the top five at 41.7% of 87,000 respondents saying they use Python. And not only that, but Python, as they noted right down here, has risen in the ranks again. Python is the fastest growing major programming language today. That's huge. We can also see a very similar trend going on here with most commonly used programming languages by software engineers. Python sitting at 44%. And when it comes to the most in demand, it is right down here at 6.1 number of interview requests per annum on higher until 19. Blah. Now, if you know me at all, you know exactly what is about to happen. We had number three, C, number two, Python. But number one, you know, you know is going to be Java. Oh, but why is Java ahead of Python? Why? I already told you why. Python syntax. There's no, nothing more to it. It's really just that simple for me. To get down to it, Java is a general purpose programming language that is class-based, object-oriented, and designed to have as few implementation dependencies as possible. Java can be used to create complete applications that may run on a single computer or be distributed among servers and clients in a network. It can also be used to build a small application module or applet, a simply designed small application, for use as part of a web page. You can see a trend here. C++, Python, Java, general purpose programming languages, the top three that you ought to be learning in 2020. Now let's see how it fares up. In all honesty, when it comes to the amount of money it makes globally, it doesn't. It fares at the 25th spot at $52,000 per year, which is just under C++ by 3,000 and under Python by 11,000. However, within the United States, it is just in between C++ and Python at 118,000. For most popular programming languages, it comes in the number five spot at 41.1%, being slightly beat out by Python at 0.6%. Referencing down here again, this year, Python just edged out Java and overall ranking much like it surpassed C Sharp last year and PHP the year before. It's just rising. Python is just rising. For 2020 State of Software Engineers, most commonly used programming languages by software engineers, it comes in number three spot at 38%. And for most in demand, it is right here at 6.4 number of interview requests per candidate on higher in 2019. So it does slightly beat out Python on this arbitrary metric. It is so close right here with a 6% deficit. It's right here by a 0.6% deficit. And right here, it has $2,000 per year more. So basically the same. And yeah, globally, I understand it beats it out by 11 thousand actually but I said what I said I think Java takes the number one spot for the reasons I gave so your top five programming languages to learn in 2020 for new programmers the number one spot goes to Java the number two spot goes to Python the number three spot goes to C++ and for the remaining two languages over in the lateral moves go taking the number one spot there and Scala taking the number two spot there I'll also give an honorable mention to JavaScript which is heavily and primarily web development which is why it serves as an honorable mention to help out everyone else watching, if you have a programming language that you think should be on the top five list or maybe an honorable mention, leave it down in the comment section so anyone watching this can scroll on down there. They can see your programming language of choice, see why. Maybe add in some of the stats that we went over in this video. Is it a popular programming language? Is it in demand? Is it good money in it? What does it build? Especially that last one. What does it build? Why do you choose that programming language for your top programming language to learn in 2020? And on your way down there, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Also, check out the link in the top of the description to get the best coffee you've ever tried at firstsupplycoffee.com. <laughs>